Good morning. If the people refuse to proclaim liberty, what will God do? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 34, and we're at verses 12 to 17 now. Therefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, saying, At the end of seven years let every man set free his Hebrew brother who has been sold to him, and when he has served you six years, you shall let him go free from you. But your fathers did not obey me nor incline their ear. Then you recently turned and did what was right in my sight, every man proclaiming liberty to his neighbor. And you made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name. Then you turned around and profaned my name, and every one of you brought back his male and female slaves, whom you had set at liberty at their pleasure, and brought them back into subjection to be your male and female slaves. Therefore, thus says the Lord, you have not obeyed me in the proclaiming liberty, every one to his brother and every one to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim liberty to you, says the Lord, to the sword to pestilence, and to famine, and I will deliver you to trouble among all the kingdoms of the earth. So if the people refuse to proclaim liberty, what will God do? Well, we just heard it. God will proclaim liberty himself, but it might not be the kind of liberty they like. I mean, they were free to obey God before, and they should have been, but they weren't. And then they entered into a solemn covenant with him, and then they just turned around and threw that all away. They started to do what was right. They started to do what was right. Awesome but uh, didn't end that way, did they? A lot of times you and I start to do what's right, but sometimes it doesn't end that way. Well, here what happens is that God puts the big punishment on. Uh, They were not in his good favor before because of their sin and disobedience, and now they're just openly rebellion. Now now they're really uh, putting themselves up for, for a serious chastening. I guess you can if you want. I guess that's the kind of thing you can do if you want, but I bet you a lot of them, when this episode was over, said, oh, we wished we hadn't done that. Made an agreement, a covenant with God, and then turned on him right in his face. But that's what they did. And now we see the, the, the result. They're going to fall to the famine. They're going to fall to the sword. They're going to fall to pestilence. God's going to bring the armies on. And those who've led out in this, the, uh, the leading citizens and the rich folks and the, the main priests and so on, they're going to uh, learn. They're going to have some more learning experiences coming up, sadly. Quite something. You know, God's mercy may eventually wear out, especially, especially if you're in the process of oppressing somebody else. That's uh, something, let's, let's make sure we don't do that. And right now, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, you want us to operate within the framework of liberty. You gave us consciences, and you never gave us leave to suppress other people's consciences. That's just the opposite of the Christian way. So, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to be letting people fulfill the endowments you give them. You gave us all free will and a moral compass. Help us to be right, Lord, please. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord, and thank you for giving us a conscience. May we exercise that conscience heavenward. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So if the people refuse to proclaim liberty, God will remove those leaders and he will proclaim liberty. In this case, they have the liberty to receive severe punishment because they have denied the will of the Lord God of heaven and earth. Let you and I not do that today. God be with you.